Hey everyone, so this will be a series of videos that uh, was originally planned just to be a short little experiment or really it was me trying to answer a question I got uh, in the support uh, thread on the Unreal Engine forums about how to create a like Heroes of Might and Magic style combat system and uh, as you can see this is the end result here we've got our teams and uh, when they attack you will see that we have a stack size here which reduces and we have a counter attack as well uh, so that our units attack back when they are attacked themselves and they do less damage when they are already hurt uh, so that is those are the various features that are implemented so watching this series of videos even if you don't want to make this sort of uh, this type of game might be useful anyway because I'm going into stuff like how do you change the UI like the health bar stuff above the units to display something else and how do you modify abilities in some ways I'm doing okay so let's get started and uh, we start as we often do in the example map here in uh, in maps and uh, so what order are we going to do this in? I think uh, the best thing is probably to start with the custom UI for displaying the stack size of the units because uh, in uh, that way we will be able to debug it when we uh, start working on the actual gameplay code. Uh, so we want to then specifically uh, modify this health bar here so that we can also show uh, the number of units in uh, one of the stacks of units that we have. Right, so where is that health bar? Uh, if we go into core and units, uh, we will have our unit HUD here, which is the one that is displayed above the unit. Uh, we can create a duplicate of this, this um, to use for our custom one. And I'll call it um, the same thing, um, but I'll put uh, Heroes of Might and Magic here, H-O-M-M. -M. Use that to identify why not, and let's go into here and we will add a number. Now I'm not going to work hard on making this very aesthetically pleasing, but let's just get something that works. Uh, so we want, so maybe like display the number on the side here. Uh, so I will wrap my vertical box here with a, uh, with a horizontal box. And then I'll add, a, add some text to that horizontal box. I'll put it on the other side there and for this text I'll just put a number to test in here. We'll need a larger font size, let's say like 90. Yeah that looks fine. Um, yeah, just have it aligned up <laughs> with the health bar just by resizing it. Pretty lazy way of doing it but uh, yeah, let's see if that's large enough. We'll need to replace the health bars of our puppets here. Uh, so let's make a new puppet for that. I, so we don't modify this puppet itself. I'll base it on BP actor puppet, I think. Just create a duplicate instead of a child here. Because, uh, I mean, if we were making a Heroes of Might and Magic style game, um, we probably want to like have our new base here so we can modify it freely. Well, that's quite a weird picture so that we don't have to like manually override a lot of stuff. Uh, so I'll call this an actor puppet HOMM, or maybe not, that would make it seem like this is a child actor of BP actor puppet, so I'll call it then instead um, BP actor HOMM puppet. Mm, yeah, there we are. like that, just sticking with the naming convention that if we have the underscores, uh, then it, sh it should be a child of the actor. It is underscore two, and it is a child of actor, so that's fine. Um, not the prettiest name, but at least we're sticking with the naming convention. Okay, so here we are. We now want to change the health bar. Uh, we can go to the BP unit HUD here, which we already have since we duplicated this default puppet and we'll find the widget that it references and uh, da, da, da. there it is uh, unit hud and we'll change that to our heroes of might and magic one instead 
And now for our units, I'll just select all of the units on this map. And I'll change their puppets to the one we just made there. And if I hit play, yeah, we can see the numbers. But yeah, these numbers are a bit too small. <laughs> I'll need to resize this a bit. So let's go back to our to this health bar and we'll just make this substantially bigger. 200 should be big enough. Yeah, now we can see the number pretty clearly. I'll just add a tiny bit of padding here. Yeah, no, I won't spend any time making it look better. Uh, I mean, this will be about just getting it working. So let's uh, keep working on the technical stuff. Um, so back at this puppet then, uh, I mean, we will need some way to set this number to something um, yeah, to represent uh, something that actually has meaning in our game. Currently, it's just hard-coded 12. Uh, so yeah, we'll stay here for now in this widget and I'll make this text into a variable. I'll choose a name for it. Uh, so I'll see, say, call it stack uh, text. I'll set it as a variable. And then I will want some way to set uh, the text of this uh, of this number. So how it works in uh, this unit HUD stuff is that this stuff, it's uh, set up through interfaces. Uh, so essentially the puppet here, it goes to this BP unit HUD component, uh, which I can take a look at. Uh, and all this does uh, really is to take these interface events and just send them uh, further onward to uh, the uh, the widget that is within this uh, this component, this widget component. So it has to be this two-step process to avoid lots of ugly casting and to keep it more modular. Uh, but yeah, you'll see it when we get back to this component. We kind of have to do one thing twice, but it's qu pretty quick to do. Uh, so we are using an interface, that's my point, uh, to set the health bar fill uh, and displaying status effects by default in this unit HUD here. Uh, so we'll want to add a new event to our interface. So quick way to get to our interface is just to double click on this interface event. And here we are in the BPI unit HUD interface. So we can add a new function here. So we'll call it set stack size. And as an input, we'll have an integer that we'll call stack size like that. And now in our uh, widget here, we should be able to then set stack size events that there it is event set stack size. Uh, if we call that event, we want to get our stack text and we want to set texts and set the text to be the same as the integer we input in our stack size here. Yeah, let's not cross the wires. <laughs> there, much better. Um, okay, so the aesthetics of the blueprint graphs, of course, much more important than the aesthetics of our of the stuff the player actually sees, at least in my mind. Uh, okay, so um, now let's uh, go backwards to what I just spoke about with the unit HUD. Uh, so we'll need to implement this event here as well, and that's pretty quick to do. We'll do it the same way as we can see exemplified here. Uh, so we'll also use the set stack size. I mean, this component, it also implements, as you can see, the BPI unit HUD interface, so we can access this event here as well. We'll just get a reference to the user widget object, which this widget component holds. And on this, we will call the set stack size as a message. And we'll just pass that through. That's two out of three. And we want to do something similar on the puppet. So if we go to the puppet here, you can see all the HUD stuff is here. So we can also then set stack size here since the same interface is also here on the puppet. And when we do that, we will want to get our unit HUD ref. So reference to our HUD component. And in this, we want to then set stack size 
again. And now we're able to call this from our puppet. Uh, now this might seem unnecessary uh, that we're doing so many steps here. We're, uh, we're in this puppet, we're calling an interface event, we're calling the same interface event, then on a component, and then we're calling the same interface event again, uh, then on a widget. So uh, it's a bit roundabout, you, you might absolutely say. Uh, but the reason is, um, for uh, the purpose of modularity in that uh, this way uh, I've set it up with interfaces so that it's simple to kind of switch out the way that you display health bars or whatever with other sorts of things so for instance uh, in the VR example map uh, I will use a different sort of component which holds a static mesh that is rotated towards the player uh, instead of using a a widget component to this, uh, to show a health bar and so I'm you can I might be using completely different sorts of ways of displaying health and displaying sort of um, HUD stuff over uh, the unit and using interfaces we will be able to send messages and modify them uh, in the same way even though we're using completely different types of actors and objects uh, so that's why and yeah, the, the other reason is that it's not really easy to access the exact widget within uh, this component without lots of ugly casting and so on. So this is uh, currently at least the, the most elegant way I've set up, uh, I've been able to set this up. Um, so yeah, a small digression there. Uh, we will need something more though. When we set the stack size on this puppet, we don't just want to pass over this stack size variable necessarily. We also uh, might want to keep uh, the stack uh, size here within the puppet. We don't really need to, uh, but it can be useful to be able to access it uh, through the puppet here. So we have some place that kind of remembers and knows uh, the displayed uh, stack size of the unit. So we'll promote this to a variable and we'll call it displayed stack size. Uh, so keep in mind, so yeah, now I'm keeping the same naming convention as I have for displayed health here and uh, displayed max health. Um, so I am assuming you've seen some of my tutorials on puppets uh, at this point, uh, but uh, to rehash, so it's... Um, so the puppets, they don't really do anything that have to do with gameplay logic. They just, just display to the player um, the results of uh, the gameplay logic that has happened. Uh, so all of the stuff that has to do with uh, the actual uh, rules of the game and what is happening, units being killed, health being modified, uh, in ways that will actually affect, affect gameplay, uh, that happens in uh, the unit blueprint and in the abilities and things like this. And because of the action system, there might sometimes be... Um, a discrepancy in what is currently true in the gameplay logic uh, in the sense that the unit's health might have changed but the action system hasn't gotten around to showing like all the animations and all the stuff that leads up to that change in health actually being shown to the player um, so therefore uh, what is in the displayed health might at points uh, in the game be different from what is the current health which is on the unit and uh, this stuff the displayed health that should then never be used for anything but you know just displaying and showing to the player what is going on and not for gameplay um, so but we can have a similar displayed stack size variable here the which we might have to or might want to use later for uh, for easy access and to know uh, at any point what is actually being displayed or being shown uh, to the player at this point in time now, if you haven't watched any of my videos on the action system or on puppets, that might not have made much sense, so I recommend you watch those. But uh, anyway, let's test out uh, that this actually works. Let's just do a quick hacky test here, where we'll just add a small delay at the start of begin play uh, for just like a couple of seconds, and then we will run the set stack size on self, and we'll set the stack size to something like that. Seven, and if we hit play now, we should wait a couple of seconds, and yeah, now we can see that the stack sizes are indeed set to seven, so working well so far. 
So yeah, next we want to uh, move on to the gameplay logic. But actually, I think I'm going to break up the video here because having gone through this, I think this might also serve as a pretty okay video just to show how to make quick changes to the unit HUD. Uh, keep in mind, if you are um, following along uh, using uh, version 3.0, uh, or 3.01 uh, of ATBTT, um, then there might be an issue with the HUD you will see, uh, or there will be, uh, in that this will be uh, substantially smaller. So in 3.02, I just resized it and then I scale it down uh, at um, during gameplay. Um, so I do this so that when you zoom in, the health bar and stuff isn't uh, pixelated when you zoom really far in which isn't obvious if you just have a health bar but you'll see it if you use something like a number so just make sure that you're using the latest version if you're watching this uh, video right as it came out but yeah that's it for this video so in the next one we'll see uh, we'll look at the gameplay part of creating heroes of might and magic style unit stacks and i guess i'll see you in that one